in stereo. I don't even know why I have these really, because it's not really a big part of the movie at all. But, well, it's a cool prop. So, In Stereo is a love movie, a love story from 2015 that stars Bo Garrett and Micah Hartman as the two male and female leads, respectively. The movie starts with the two of them. They're a nice, happy couple living in New York. It's pretty much every other movie does in modern times. And they're just a couple. They live together. And at one point, early in the movie, Bo Garrett's character decides, hey, you know what? We should move in together. And after that, there's... A cut scene, and it cuts to 18 months later, and they've apparently broken up. Wow, that was a pretty quick transition. Um, didn't really explain how they got broke up, but apparently moving in didn't work out the way it was supposed to, otherwise it wouldn't have broke up. So, when the movie follows Micah Hopman's character, his name is David, he's just this regular dude who's got a new relationship, living with this new chick, who's his new girlfriend, but she's cheating on him, apparently, or at least looking through his phone. And he follows her, and she's cheating on him with his best friend. You don't find this out until a couple minutes later, but that is a huge dick move on his best friend's part. But he doesn't expose them right away. He just kind of lets it dangle a little bit and keeps it moving. So he's in therapy for a while, just talking his problems out. And on the other side, you have Bo Garrett's character, Brenda, who's this actress on TV who's struggling just a little bit, but, well, she's doing well enough, I suppose. Now, ultimately, this movie, it's a love story, like I said, and it's a fairly decent one. I mean, it's not, like, overly exciting. I mean, there's some parts I just couldn't get into. It was just like, okay, please skip ahead. Let's get on to something more interesting. Go back to, like, Michael Hoffman's story or something like that. I mean, eventually, at some point, both of them come back and coalesce their paths intersect once again, and then we have a little bit more of an interesting story, and things proceed as you might expect, more or less, from there. Except, well, they don't, because at the end, it, you'll just have to see for yourself. Now, let me say this right off the bat. The acting in this movie was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty believable. I actually bought that the characters were just a regular couple, or former couple, who have their own different lives, and problems, and what have you. Seriously, it's, it's a pretty straightforward movie. Um, not a whole lot. It's only about 90-something minutes, but... It's pretty good. I can't say it was boring. I can't say it didn't keep me excited. I mean, it's not what I expect out of other love stories. It's not technically a chick flick, but it's kind of up there. Seriously, that's basically it. It's pretty cut and dry. You think it's a little bit predictable, but it's not. Do the couple ever get back together? Do they ever address the problems? Do they ever explain why they just stop hanging out with each other after 18 months? You'll find out when you watch it. So, for me personally, it was satisfying enough. It did parts well, so I'll give it credit for that. It wasn't overly, like, extremely exciting, but I guess it's not supposed to be that way. It didn't, like, wow me on another completely level. It was just good enough. So, for that reason, I'm going to have to give it a silver ribbon rating. So, in stereo, have you seen it? What did you think? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Did you buy it as a love story? Whatever it is, leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at Asteroid Mike. Don't forget to check out my blog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Just click the link below on the next page. And as always, I will see you around.